All right. Ah, oh, fuck. We have beer. Don't need that shit. Oh, that's no bueno. Well, I don't remember. All right, we'll just drink it. Screw it. Okay, we just can't drink all of them. I think we can drink one more. The fifth one will make us drunk, so we're not going to do that. Not 100% sure what eating these actually does here in the bunker. I think I've looked it up, but uh, I don't remember. It's been a hot minute. Okay, now we're ready to go. We don't need that. It's gonna do us no good to where we need to go, right? Hello. I always do that every time. Every time I stop playing for a hot minute. Okay, our current objective is... Wait, what do I have over here? Do I have packages? Nope, sure don't. Weird. Whatever. We're gonna ignore that. Our, our true objective is over here. Um, we'll take we'll take the chance for now. If we need any equipment or gear, we'll pick some up here in a hot minute. Lou likes the double jump. My road seems to be doing perfectly fine. Still not 100% sure how this hasn't got any likes. Um, let's see here. I upgraded it so we can now go this far. I could theoretically dismantle this one right here. Now that I've upgraded this one and that one down there. I've made a whole network of zip lines that lead all around the mountains. Hmm. Try to debate. Which one would be better? Wait, how did someone build that there? I feel like it wouldn't let me build that close. Clearly I must be wrong. Alright. Ooh, someone upgraded a zip line. Appreach, appreach, appreach. No such thing as too many crypto biotes. Okay. Wait, why did my hat go? What's wrong with my hat? Oh, it's bugged. This has happened before. It'll fix itself when I go through this cutscene. Hopefully. Huh. Someone's happy. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you, Sam. In reclaiming our past, we've uncovered a number of vital clues. 
Don't worry, I just got back. We have time. When you met with Mama, you experienced a strong antigen antibody reaction, correct? There was a BT in the room. There was, but something else may have been causing it. I've discovered large quantities of chiral matter in Mama as well. Not just the usual kind that collects on our skin or on our suits. It's in all her cells. Cells that are no longer active. The BT you encountered there was special. It was her child, but also her own soul. Somehow, her car and her failed to separate. They must have remained connected through the umbilical cord. It's the only explanation. Is that why I didn't get a bruise where she touched me? Yes. And there's more. I modified the lock times. Headquarters will have no record of what we say. Look, a message from Dead Man. It came with the umbilical cord. Sam, uh, I'm sorry. You deserve to know what you were carrying. But I couldn't risk Die Hardman finding out about the case. So I had no choice but to keep it off the books. You've got to keep this between us. We still don't know if the director can be trusted. The umbilical cord was taken from Bridget Strand. I removed it in secret. The cord wasn't attached to her fetus. It was outside her body. She asked me to take care of it. Said it was the key to unlocking the death stranding. But she insisted that I never tell the director. The cord shows no sign of decomposition or necrotization. Almost as if it's frozen in time. I thought Hartman might be able to make sense of it. So I had it hidden with your cargo at Mountain Lot City. Dead Man's observations were accurate. It's just like Mama's corpse. What do you mean? I mean they share a very unique property. Both contain large amounts of Corellia in their cells. In other words, the President's cord was somehow connected to the beach, and that allowed it to escape the flow of time. I've put together the bones of a theory. It's patchy, but worth sharing, I think. Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions. Great and small, including the big five. And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find Corellian deposits that can be dated to each. What if the manifestation of, our, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction level events? You mean? Yes. Our death stranding just be the latest of many. The records and research you helped us to recover strongly suggest that we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Sixth extinction? Come on. You know what this is, yes? A frozen mammoth from 10,000 years ago. Correct. And this? The ice man from our five, 5,300 years ago. They both have the same umbilical cords. <laughs> Bullshit. Humor me. What if the mammoth and the ice man weren't frozen? You're saying time stopped for them just like it did for Mama? Hmm. Unfortunately, all these specimens were lost in the death strand, so there's no way to examine the genuine articles. But some fragments of data did survive. With the aid of the chiral network, we may be able to piece together something more concrete using Evo Devo tech. All right. How's this? A dinosaur from 65 and a half million years ago. 
umbilical cord, not decomposed. Uh -uh. Only mammals have umbilical cords. Mm -hmm. No. Only mammals have umbilical cords used for childbirth. This is something else. Call it a strand from the other side. I propose that mammalian umbilici are a sort of mimesis of the strand, then evolved over time. We shouldn't assume that everything about a death stranding is detrimental to life. Trilobites, ammonites, dinosaurs, the mammoth, the iceberg, all preserved as if frozen in time, all without exception bound with strands, which is to say that all may have been connected to the beach. And this, when viewed in the context of the extinction entity, Ili theory, leads me to surmise that organisms with strands are in fact extinction entities. You see, Sam, these are connected to the beach via their strands. And it is through this connection that they somehow bring about a death stranding. So you're saying Bridget was an extinction entity? It's far too soon to say anything for certain. And since you burned her body, we may never know. Hicks said Amelie's an EE, and she doesn't have dooms like the rest of us. Sam, think. Assume that President Strand was an EE. Isn't it possible that her daughter is too? At the very least, Higgs may hope as much now that the president is unavailable. So he kidnaps her for E powers or whatever to cause a mass extinction? Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps not. I doubt a single E is powerful enough to cause a death stranding, assuming Amelie is an E. Well, Higgs sure thinks she's got what it takes. Indeed. And we need to get her back as soon as possible. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Ah, this one is real. Sam, go west. How do you want me to handle Die Hardner? With your customary reserve. Nothing good will come of him learning of our suspicions. Whatever else is going on, we still need the chiral network. Right. Interesting. Okay, our next spot. Shot. So let's hope we weren't right to change horses in midstream. 
Fortunately for us, the foundation we laid down is still intact. All you have to do is transport the necessary materials to the site and finish the job. I'm afraid it's the only way we can expand the network further west and rescue Armour. We're counting on yourself. Oh, bloody hell. Alright. Okay, first things first. Um, let's take a bull again. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> A multi rocket launcher. Alright. Uh, let's take some chromatic grenades. Okay, I need some PCCs. That may be too much weight. No, we'll take the chance. Okay. I feel like... Oh, we're going to go with this for a minute. I feel like we can reorganize this stuff. Order assigned. Okay, let's get our cargo. There we go. Knew we could do it. So for the most part, I think I have a ride to where I need to go. For the most part being the key word here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take the uh, zip line up here.
Cthulhu's over that way, but we're not going to go kill Cthulhu. That's too much work right now. Yeah, we are going... Oh, we have to go through the meal sector. That's... That's gonna be a fun one. Alright. I have a zip line right there. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's right. I didn't make this zip line. My zip line should go right around that area over there. Yep, it's right up there. Three PCs, three PCCs might not even be enough to make a zip line all the way to that next way station. I knew this was going to be a thing. I would have built PCCs or um, I would have built zip lines through here. Shit, there's people here. Oh, that's right, I couldn't. I was gonna do that. Because I was planning on, um... Shit. I don't think I can go through there, can I? I feel like I have a mask somewhere. Sure don't. I thought. Shit. Okay, so.
Go to sleep. Okay, we got this. Okay, I feel like that absolutely should not have missed. Oh, he's already unconscious. Okay, bring it on. Oh, PCC level two. Okay, I can understand why that one missed. Maybe that's why the other one missed. Oh, that's not good. Dude, why are they like smacking the bottom container so much? Oh man, they want me dead. Ugh, my poor cargo. Dude, they're chasing me so far. Okay, hopefully that was the last of the mules that I had to deal with.
Move slowly. Nice and easy does it. So we're somewhat close. Hopefully it builds a road, that'd be great. Yeah, I'm working on it, dude. You gotta calm down. Chill. Fucking hell. Tell me to hurry up, ain't gonna make me go any faster. All in all, I should get an S rank. Good. I mean, you've leveled up a bit. Uh, maybe give it a shot. See. <clears throat> decisions, decisions.
end will be in sight. We're this close to Evelyn. Wow. To America's second chance. Edgenot City awaits. The staff we're sending will start by building a safe house. Over time, they'll expand their operations and establish a new facility. In doing so, they'll carry out the legacy of the brave souls lost to the tar. All thanks to you, Sam. Now, let's figure out how to get you across this tar bell. Hold up, wait, what? Excuse me? I've been analyzing the tar samples you collected for me, and I have to say, I'm about to say, its properties are wholly unlike those of the more common tar we have observed on this planet in the past. The same can be said for the tar taken from the strata in which the ammonite with the umbilical cord was found. No deposits have been discovered, save for those accompanying massive. Okay. I'm not supposed to do that. Well, where was I? Fossil brute, fossil beaches. It is as if it's the literal stuff of extinction. Is even more strangely, it seems the objects submerged in concrete of this tar concentrations of this tar are. Partially, if not entirely transported elsewhere, most likely to the beach. I suspect, therefore, by chucking that nuke into the crater lake, you may have set it to the other side itself. Assuming it's a two-way street, that also means that matter sent to this to that world could theoretically return through the tar once more. This would explain some of the more fantastic stories I've heard of building swallowed hold by tar, only to miraculously rise from its depths at a later date, looking exactly as they did when they were lost, which has intrigued implication, intriguing implications, don't you think? If the tar is a gateway to the past it has consumed, then maybe it could be manipulated into regurgitating its old metals, old meals. Huh, interesting. That's, uh, that's crazy about the Yojimbo thing. Didn't know that. Did not know that was a thing. The only way west is through that. To make matters worse, I don't believe your PCC is capable of building anything that will get you across. There must be a way. We can't give up. Not with what's at stake. We'll see if we can't think of something here. But considering everything you've been through, I wouldn't be surprised if you've already got a few ideas of your own. I don't. Get away from this area. 